Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another IT video. And in this one, we're going to be taking a look at how you can take an old crappy Windows laptop that barely runs, turn it into an awesome web surfing machine, editing documents, whatever you got to do, all with just a 4 gig SD card or a flash drive. I don't know what I'm talking about. And an install of Bode Linux. So let's get started. All right, first things first, you need to download Bode Linux and Etcher, which is a flash software for USB drives. It makes things super simple. So for Bode Linux, go ahead and download the standard release over here, and the download should automatically start. And then same thing for uh, Etcher. Just click on Download for Windows. If you're on a Mac, you can do this also. And that should be that. Let these download, and I'll be back in a second. All right, so once Etcher's done downloading, uh, the ISO's still downloading, but we'll set up Etcher while this is uh, going on. And this is actually a portable, so all you have to do is agree, and it'll launch. And now you can actually uh, insert your uh, USB stick also. So here is the Etcher program. So as you can see, it's super simple. We have our SD card, or our uh, flash drive right here. SanDisk Cruiser, and so that's going to be the uh, USB card that we're flashing to, and once our image is done downloading, we'll go ahead and select the image here. Alright, so the ISO is down, uh, done downloading, so over here in Etcher, we're just going to click Select Image, go to our downloads, and there's Bode 5.00, 64-bit. Click Open on that, and make sure that we have the right flash drive selected, which we do and go ahead and click flash. There's a little pop-up window, you can't see this, just click yes. And this will go ahead and flash the ISO image to the USB flash drive that you'll be using to boot on the old crappy laptop. All right, looks like the uh, flash is done here. You can go ahead and pop out your uh, flash drive and put it into your computer that you're trying to flash to. Okay. So we have our boot media installed over here in our USB drive. Our computer is off. Now all we have to do is figure out the button that we need to push to bring up the BIOS. Usually it's F10 or delete, F12, F2, one of those. Um, you can Google it for your specific model. And so we're gonna push the power button and then spam that button. So for me, it's F10. Cool, so we're in the BIOS now. Now we're just gonna navigate over to system configuration and then down to boot options. You're gonna have to figure this out on your model. It might be a little bit different, but should be pretty standard. Uh, it should say boot options, something along those lines. I'm gonna go into boot options, and here under UEFI boot order, we're gonna move these around to where the USB is number one on the list. So on mine, you use F4 and F5, or F5 and F F6, sorry, to uh, move these up and down. So I want it USB all the way at the top, USB hard disk. That means when we reboot, it will see if there's a USB hard disk in the USB drive. If there is, it'll boot from that before going to the boot manager. Simple. So now we just push F10, exit saving changes, yes, and it should reboot into the flash drive. All right, so we're booted into the flash drive here and we have a couple options. So we can actually use this as a live disk, so run the operating system right off of the flash drive. Now, if you just wanna use, like test this, that's what you wanna do. If you want to install it, however, just directly to the hard drive, click the second option here. However, this will erase all of your data on the drive. So make sure you have all of your data backed up and then go ahead and use the second option here to install Bode Linux. You'll just see some code running and that's just the uh, Linux installing. And you have the boot launcher right here, the little uh, logo. All right, we're finally getting a mouse cursor here. Uh, the bootloading screen actually uh, locked up, but that's normal. All right, so now we're to the install screen. So we're gonna choose English, continue. Now this might be a little bit uh, sluggish compared to after it's actually installed. Um, you can connect to a network. I'm not going to right now. Click continue. You can install the third-party software. Uh, you usually don't have to. And then 
I download the updates while installing. Click continue. All right, so here's where it's gonna ask if you wanna boot alongside Windows. I actually already have Bodhi on here. That's why it says alongside Bodhi. But you can either do erase and reinstall, install it alongside, or erase the entire disk and install Bodhi. Now, if you want a fresh system, this is the option that I would choose right here. So I'm going to click install now after doing that. Write changes to the disk, continue. Now this will wipe the entire drive and install Bodhi Linux on a fresh drive. Click continue for our time zone. Uh, enter the name. I'm just gonna put crap box, password, L-O-L-Y. Because who wants a password on a crap box? If you're actually using this computer for anything serious, put a good password, by the way. And I'm gonna log in automatically. Continue. And now this should uh, take a few minutes to install. It's pretty small, like 1.3 gigabytes, so it shouldn't take too awful long. But after this is done, I'll be right back. All right, so now the installation is complete. All you have to do is remove your SD card or your flash drive. So I'm just gonna pop this guy out right here, just like that, click restart. So now this is gonna boot onto your hard drive because there is no installation media in the USB drive. So it'll go through the boot order and finally get to the hard drive. Okay, right here it says, please remove installation media, plus press enter. All right, so now we're booting back up into Bodhi Linux. All right, we finally got a mouse cursor and it looks like it's finally booting up here. All right, now that I'm connected to the internet, we're all booted up and ready to go. Um, I'm not gonna give you really much of an overview of Bodhi Linux because it's pretty similar to Ubuntu, except that it's very stripped back and there's very few applications. As you can see here, we have very few applications. Um, but there are three steps that I'm gonna go over just because those of you who are new to Linux, uh, you'll essentially be running this almost every time you install a new Linux uh, OS, distro as they call them. So I'm gonna go up to application, system tools, and go to terminology. It's called terminal and some things, console and some things. And doesn't really matter just get this screen open and there's three commands we're gonna do first one is sudo apt get update okay and sudo means super user essentially apt get is just the uh, repository list I guess you could say and update is to update that it's gonna ask for our password lolly and this is updating all of the repositories, as well as updating all the uh, current applications, figuring out what version they are, etc. All right, so once that's done, all you have to do is do sudo dnf, eh, sorry, I'm used to uh, Fedora, apt-get. Now we're gonna install Firefox. Now I do this just because it has native uh, flash support and things like that. So we're gonna tap Y after that loads, and that's just saying yes, and this will install Firefox. And you can see how buttery smooth this is. When this was running Windows, I mean, it would take minutes to open up even the file explorer. All right, so it looks like that's done. And if you can see here under applications and internet, we now have Firefox. So if I open this up, I just wanna show that YouTube works and things like that. And you can see how smoothly this is operating. Usually, I mean, it's obviously not fast, but, uh, you know, it's better than nothing. So just to show you that we have flash support here. There you go. Boom. Video's playing. I don't want to get copyrighted, so I'm going to exit out of this. So now that you have Firefox, there's one last thing that I recommend doing, and that's sudo apt get upgrade. Now what this will do is this will take the longest, and this will go through every application and update it to its current uh, most most current version. So as you can see, it's 52 megs of data. Yes. And now this will go through updating everything. You may have to hit yes a couple of times. Um, so just keep an eye on it. And once that's done, you essentially have a fully operational PC that's good for web browsing. Uh, I believe it does have some um, built-in, like a, a notepad or a, yeah, so you have ePad, Firefox, you know, all essentially just your basics. Um, 
if you guys want me to do a couple more videos on other applications that you can install and how to install them, you essentially do it like you did the sudo dnf or sorry sudo apt git install and then whatever the the uh, application is. And there's tons of repositories you can add repositories if you have to to get certain applications. But I can go over all that in a separate video. But this will essentially get you set up to where you can browse the web, watch YouTube videos, look at your email, whatever on an old crappy laptop that was barely running revitalize it with uh, Bodhi Linux. So anyways, we're going to let this update and thanks for watching.